Good morning, guys. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. It is 8.45. Oh my god. And I got up, I started editing, and I went to the bathroom. I get got back in my bed and started editing again. And then Zachary comes in saying that SML uploaded a new video. We watched it, and then we came down here, and I helped him prepare his breakfast. He ate breakfast, and then my mom took him to camp, and they are out right now. And I've been editing, so my plan for today, for the, the whole week, I'm basically home alone. Like, today, I'm not technically home alone, but my mom's work is, like, so busy that it's, like, it's basically a home alone. Tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday, my mom's going to be in Maryland, so I will be home alone. Well, Zachary's at camp. And Friday, my mom will, my mom will be back, so I'm not sure what that's going to be like. But my plan for today and this week is to, one, go for walks and relax. And I'm going to finish editing, obviously. I'm going to eat breakfast. I'm going to work out because I, I really need to do, like, a good ab workout. I've been doing a lot of walking, which is good, but I really need to do an ab workout because I haven't done one in a while. And also, like, legs and arms and stuff. I just haven't had a very balanced workout schedule. I've just been doing a lot of cardio. And I need to, obviously, eat lunch and dinner and prepare all that and i'm not really sure what else i need to edit the travel packing video because i did edit it on the bus on the way to quebec but then i ran out of storage and i had to delete it i mean i still have all the clips on my account on my sd card so i can still re-edit it but i had to delete it because i ran out of storage and i needed to upload the vlogs oh things youtube props so yeah i'm gonna start my day off by drinking water because drinking water on an empty stomach is very important boost your metabolism and all that it gets your day started right so and i spill it on myself which is just so smart though i'm so stupid at that. okay well, yeah, I don't really know what else is going on today. I might go to the pool. I just really don't like going to the pool. I just don't like it. I might go, though, if I have nothing else to do. So, yeah, not really sure what's going to go down for me today. Let's see. I'll probably just, like, chill out, watch, try to find, like, a good movie to watch, like, go on Netflix or something. I don't know. I don't, I'm not the person to sit around and binge watch things or actually, if I, if I get into something, I will binge watch it. But it's, like, very rare for me to actually get into something. I don't know. Leave me comments suggesting any tv shows or movies that you really really like that you think i should watch because i kind of really struggle to find that oh and music too I, sh I should listen to music i just don't know what kind of music i like so it's hard for me to find music i like so yeah let me know what your favorite kind of music tv shows movies all that kind of stuff is but i am gonna um catch up on youtube videos because i did miss quite a few videos when i was in quebec and i started yesterday so yeah i'm gonna catch up on some youtube videos and chill out not really do much but like not, i can't really go out because my mom's working so yeah i'm i'm gonna try to do stuff from in the house like working out and oh i need to get started with my summer reading that is something i need to do because we have to do summer reading we get to pick our book and I want to read Nerve because I really, really like the movie. I'm obsessed with the movie. So my, my dad's like, isn't that kind of cheating? And I was like, no, no, it's not. Uh, so yeah, we just have to read the book and then add sticky notes about the plot and all that shit. But you don't want to hear about that. So yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, it's 11:12. I did my first small workout of the day. I'm hoping to get done like two or three more like bigger workouts. I like it was a really, really small little workout. And then I was like, eh. Well, actually, I edited, I ate breakfast, and I chilled for a little while. I just watched a few videos. Did a tiny workout. My movie, my movie, my video is exporting. And now I am about to watch The Bachelorette because I was in Quebec on Monday. So I didn't watch Monday's episode. And today is Monday of the next week. And I want to get all cut up before tonight's episode. Plus, I have nothing else to do. So I'm going to watch this, which is like an hour and a half to two hours long so that should kill some time i need to put on a pore strip because i have a bunch of pimples like in this area here and just all around here my nose has been really pimply and oily yeah so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna work out a little more we're my mom and i are gonna go out and just run like a few errands just my mom's really busy today like i said but we need to go to the bank and get put all my money back in my bank account yeah, it's, it's hard to explain, but whatever, we need to go run to the bank, and then we need to get my book for summer reading, and then we're going to come back here, work, I'm going to work out more, eat lunch, catch up on YouTube videos, yeah, just 
pretty ch chill day. I'm sorry guys, I can't deal with this shit anymore. My movie screwed me over again, but in a different way this time. It was all fine, it wasn't, didn't crash, didn't do anything that I had experienced before, but this time it would export and then it would export halfway and then freeze. So it wouldn't export the video. I don't even know. I I'm not going to re-edit it all. That's just it's a waste of my time. I'm, I'm really sorry about yesterday's video, but I cannot stand this editing software anymore. I hate it. I need to find better editing software. It's just like I need suggestions. So please let me know for it a reasonably priced one it doesn't have to be free but it can't be like final cut pro which is three hundred dollars i don't have that kind of money but i need something that either i could do on my phone or my laptop or my ipad or something but that is better than this shit this is awful iMovie is awful i hate it don't ever use it okay so i'm i legit legitimately think that iMovie is partially causing me misery and fucking up my YouTube channel and my whole YouTube career that I may potentially have, but my videos are going to be shitty if the editing is not good because of the editor. I don't have time to figure out a good editor. I don't have a crap ton of money to spend on a good editor, so I promise I'll be doing research. My dad's been helping me do research. Sorry, there's like wrist cake in my in my romper <laughs> and if i could get some help from you guys that would be really beneficial to me but what i do want to say is that one of my closest friends told me that i complain too much and she she knows like that i struggle socially sometimes and she told me that part of that reason is because i complain too much and at first that like really really hurt my feelings and i didn't want to talk to her for a long time and then i realized it's true, I do complain too much. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but I'm really starting to notice that I do complain a lot. And I'm sorry, and I'm going to try to stop complaining so much. And I realize that I'm like, I'm complaining about this whole iMovie thing. So I'm sorry about complaining about it. But it's, it's just really, really frustrating. And I'm sorry, I'm going to try not to complain too much anymore. I've said that I've had problems with this editing software a million times and I realized that I haven't done anything about it and I really need to. I shouldn't just complain about it to you guys, vent to you about it and my parents about it and say, I need to get a new editing software, I need to get a new editing software, but then not get one. So I'm sorry and I'm going to try to look for a good one. And I'm going to get dressed and we're going to go run those errands I talked about. When we get back, I'm going to have, I've been like, fuck it with the with the food thing like i don't care about how many calories i eat today or ever really <laughs> it's just the fat i don't want to make sure i, I want to make sure i don't eat too much fat calories i don't give a shit i've eaten half this box of rice crackers today i've been obsessed with these like a little too much i need to like back off a little bit so i've already eaten plenty of food today but not very balanced <laughs> but when we get home i'm gonna make i got a massive batata so that's gonna be my lunch well this was like half my lunch that's gonna be my other half of my lunch i'm like dividing my lunch into two meals but yeah i'm gonna have a massive batata when we get home from running those errands my mom told me to be ready by 12 30 and it's 12 30 now and i'm not ready at all because i've been really stressing out about this fucking my movie thing hopefully this works i um made it into a different a different movie different movie as they call it and hopefully this one exports but it doesn't do crap i really don't want to like miss a day because of my fucking editing software i really hope it works okay wish me luck okay bye see it gets stuck in this spot when it, when it exports this spot every time it did it again i re-edited the whole video and it's getting stuck in the same spot again when i've tried to export it a million times yay bank time how fun thank you kind lady Okay, what I've, I've decided to do about the iMovie thing is that I'm gonna re-download it and do it again. Sorry about this, guys. And basically, we went to the bank because you remember when I lost all my money in Quebec? Well, I lost this card and we froze it because we didn't want anybody to like find it and make purchases on it. And then I wound up finding the card. I didn't lose it really. I just I put it in a different pocket of my bag because my bag had two pockets and I only looked in one of them like an idiot. And it was in the other one because I'm stupid. So make sure you look thoroughly guys. I really didn't look thoroughly when I was looking for my money at all. Anyway, 
we unfroze it and now I can use it which is cool and I just reloaded my Starbucks card with some money and now I can like order things online because like, I've never had like a, a debit card or anything like that so I've never so I've only ordered something online once and it was like a four dollar thing because it was like a really small gift card I had but yeah so we're just we stopped at Giant just to get like coffee and Clorox wipes or something so we're gonna go to Starbucks and then go home I'm gonna try to fit finish with the video and catch up on some things that I missed when I was in Quebec and yeah all that crap. How's your mango pineapple frappuccino for anyone that wants to try it? It's really good. It's not overly sweet but sweet enough to be enjoyable. Cheers. Oh okay. Went to Starbucks and try the new mango pineapple cream frappuccino. She likes all those things, so. And then I just got my basic. Hey gosh. So if this is a pineapple, f mango pineapple cream frappuccino, does that mean there's no coffee in here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cream, cream means no coffee. Okay, okay, my suggestion as a vegan for this, for this frappuccino thing, why isn't it focusing? Okay, there we go. Is to replace the milk with coconut milk. Because first of all, it's already mango pineapple. Adding the coconut will make it just so much more tropical. And also, it won't have dairy in it. And this one likes coconut. She really likes coconut. She's I like, like coconut. No one else likes coconut in the family except for her. I'm not the biggest fan. Like, I'll, I'll have coconut milk if I, if I have to. But I'm just like, I'm not the biggest fan. She likes it. Time to get that summer reading book. Gotta be productive. Well, Barnes and Noble was a bust. They didn't have my book. So we went to Target because I looked it up and it said they had it in Target. So I'm hoping that they have it in Target. Come on, Target Bay. Don't let me down. Staring. Okay. <laughs> I'm so self conscious. Target coming through again. Love you, Target. Oh my gosh. Mommy. It's backwards, and then when I put it in the camera, it looks forward. Uh -huh. If there's any Canadians watching this, I am sorry. You don't have Target in your life. It's the best store ever. Bar Barnes & Noble is awful. I hate Barnes & Noble. Every time I go in there, the Starbucks in Barnes & Noble, first of all, there's a Starbucks in there, but they don't accept cards. They don't have, like, half the menu on there. I hate it. And they never have the books I want. Had I come to Target, I can get whatever Starbucks order I want with my card so I can earn points, and I find my book. So... And the book was discounted. Yeah, the book was discounted, too. Well, yeah. I want to say it was, like, 10 or 11 bucks in Barnes & Noble for, for the... Uh, yeah, it was paperback, like paperback, and this was eight seventy nine plus tax, and less than ten bucks. Yeah, love Target, Target's Bay, Target's Bay. It always will be. But no, if we move to Canada, I'm gonna be really sad. If we're moving to Canada, then there's a reason for it. We'll find some other way of getting stuff. I'll just have things. I'll just like you know. You can order. We'll live at like the. No, we'll live in the the south southern Canada, and then we'll just drive to New York if we're like we'll living on that side. Border, yeah, just go like right over the border if we want to go to Target, mm. or just come to the United States a lot. You know, this is my home, but there's a lot of shit going down here I don't want to deal with. So yeah, and everything's cheaper in Canada. I found when I went to Canada, everything was cheaper. Even if, even with the exchange rate, everything's cheaper. Yeah. Look at that beautiful shit. And I already ate, like, a good amount of it. Like, I didn't eat a good amount of it. But I ate, like, plenty of it already. And there's still so much left. Apple butter, ketchup, maple butter, and then maple syrup. And then catching up on The Bachelorette. I've been watching it on and off all day. I only have, like, a few minutes left. Yeah, I finally got the video thing situated. I'm sorry that the editing was a little weak. <laughs> But it's easier if you just see my face. But ugh, I'm so done with this. But my mom posted something on Facebook. Like, do you have, does anybody have suggestions for editing software that's not like crazy expensive but still works for YouTube videos and stuff? So, 
I'm gonna try some stuff. And then um, tomorrow I'm gonna edit the travel packing video because I'm gonna be home alone not knowing what to do with my life, so might as well edit. I'm gonna film another video and edit that. Not really sure. Hey guys, time for a little update. It is about eight o'clock, so the bachelor's about to start, but I wanna do my video first, do as much of it as I can. I'll just finish it up in between the commercial breaks like I normally do. Probably should have done it earlier, but I'm a procrastinator sometimes. But yeah, I'm working on my video now, and the last time we saw you was before Zachary got home, but we picked up Zachary, came back here, Zachary and I watched videos YouTube videos for hours. We just sat here, watched videos, and played around. Then my mom took him to get dinner, like a salad from Wawa or a sandwich from Wawa or something. I don't know. And we've just been chilling. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna finish up my video and watch The Bachelorette. Hi guys. It is 10, 8, 10, what? 8.45. And I'm feeling a little bloated, so I made my de bloat tea. So some hot water, and then I used this Get Relief herbal tea. It's like herbal with peppermint and cinnamon, which is really good. And then I put in some ground fennel, because that's supposed to be really good for de bloating. And I normally would use agave because it's liquid, but I don't have any, so I just put in some raw sugar. That's my de bloat tea recipe. Okay, it is 10.15. And I'm going to end today's video here. If you like to give it a big thumbs up, make sure you hit that subscribe button and share this video and my channel so those that you think might be interested. And leave me comments down below. The comment of the day will be what is your ma most major guilty pleasure? Doesn't have to be food, but anything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you. Bye.